The Musconetcong River runs from the Delaware River across from Regalsville, Pennsylvania, and nearly 46 miles northeast to Lake Hopakong. It winds through much of the rural mountainous region of northwestern New Jersey, through several counties and dozens of towns. Her natural beauty and abundance of resources have attracted people from as far back as 12,000 years ago, when the first Native Americans came to the Musconetcong Valley. Through most of that time, the river was left virtually untouched until the first settlers arrived in the early 18th century and profoundly altered the river in an effort to harness her power. Over a period of 150 years, the river was dammed and rerouted as industry claimed its stake along her banks. Hard choices now have to be made regarding the ways this property will be redeveloped. Amazingly, the river has retained much of its original beauty with its diverse plants and wildlife as it twists and turns through some of the most picturesque scenery in the Garden State. Efforts by federal and state agencies working with public and private partners to restore the river have been successful, and now it is time for the next phase to begin. There are still a number of areas where old and decrepit dams still hold back the muskies' glistening waters, and where her natural path has been altered to serve plants and factories that have long since been abandoned. Fortunately, the Musconetcong has managed to survive with only a few reminders of that era, places that with the continued help of the federal and state government in their partnership with the public and private sectors can be restored to its natural state and enjoyed by New Jerseyans forever. The river is a vital part of the region's culture. She provides a haven for kayakers, anglers, and anyone looking to enjoy the natural beauty that once dominated this great state. The time to bring the Musconetcong back is now. It is not just an opportunity to give back what belongs to New Jersey's residents, but also our obligation to future generations. From this point forward, the vision is clear. Through restoration, this section of the Musconetcong can finally join the rest of the river as part of the National Wild and Scenic River System.